Hacker man. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. Follow me. Oh, ha, 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 It's just me. I know. So now things are going to move at a little, little different pace, you know, before, uh, you know. A lot of less screaming happened today than normally happens on this channel. So today, you're going to hear at least one or two screams. Normally, my mic's a little bit more conveniently located so I can do a professional pork. But I don't think I can do that today because, you know, it's Vim Conference. We got to be... We gotta be up, you know, I gotta be like doing the right thing here, okay? Okay, thank you so much for all the claps. This makes me feel very, very special. And uh, today, I just wanted to talk to you. Yes, by the way, this is not dirt. My wife did bleach this sweater. Okay, this is my favorite sweater of all time. It's just thin enough that I can wear it any season. All right, so anyways, I just wanted to talk about Harpoon because Harpoon is the something I get all the time. Hey, what is Harpoon? Why do you do that? Why is there a chair in your scene? I don't know why there's a chair in my scene. What chair? Uh, the cake is not a lie. Um, did we get over 200 chatters? No, we did not. But let's, let's stay focused here, okay? So, Harpoon. I'm going to tell you kind of the backstory because I feel like if I just say, hey, here's Harpoon, you're going to be like, ah, I don't really care, right? It's just how it goes. So, I started off life uh, in NetBeans. You may have heard of NetBeans. I remember the first time I opened up Vim, Vi, back when I was playing around with it. Uh, I literally was the meme. I produced a hash sequence pressed all the buttons, and I just physically held down the power button and turned off my computer. Uh, this was me in college. This was me 17 years ago. Yes, I was that guy. Feels good. You know, we all, we all, we all start off as that person. But then as time went on, I, I, I moved from NetBeans to IntelliJ, and I learned about Control-N. Now, Control-N was the fuzzy finder. It was fantastic. I could open up any file quickly. Which, you know, was pretty neat, but I had this habit of going up and using my mouse and going up and selecting which file and doing that. But eventually that all kind of stopped and I moved on and I, I got really into fuzzy finding. I really liked it. And so as I went through, when I switched to Doom Max, yes, I did use Doom Max for a while and Space Max, you know, Leader PV, boom, Project View. Like I could just do it so quickly. And then I kept going and kept going. I had all these different ways or a PT, I think, would be the fuzzy find. I can't remember what it was. I'm not, not an Emax guy. Uh... And then I went to Vim, and then I went back to Doom Max, and I went to Space Vim, and I did Neo Vim, and Neo Vim sucked back in the day, and then I was just like, ah, oh, I hate Neo Vim. It's probably just me and how I set it up. And then, you know, I went all over the place, and uh, yeah, I li literally, this is a line out of my uh, Vim RC. I, I, I really used Doom Max for a while, and it affected me, okay? It, it just hurt me. I had, I used it, okay? And it just has stuck with me forever. But then one day, I learned about this. Right? Alternate file. If you don't know, uh, I don't read the friendly manual very often, but I did learn about alternate file, and that was awesome, right? That was that moment where you're just like, oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. I was actually talking with one of my coworkers, and he's like, well, in, in Emacs, we have this thing called alternate file, and I was like, hold your tongue, wench. I already know about this, right? And like, oh, we were already there, and we discussed it. It was fantastic. I loved it. It was fantastic. But, you know, it started making this weird pattern I started doing, right? I started going from main file to other file, back to main file. To the next file back to main file to the next file back to main file you know i just get i kept doing this and then every now and then i will go like this go like that and go oh my why and then it's just like now i gotta fuzzy find my way back to main file it was just like it's emotionally painful right i just hated it i hit me gusta right like i just i couldn't handle it and so then uh god invented the lsp and that ruined everything in my entire lifetime right because now my navigation went accidentally like this and then turned into that, right? Like, just like, I just, oh, what's that all about? Hey, what's that all about? Hey, what's that all about? And it's just like, now I'm just like, I'm just constantly having to fuzzy find everything, right? I have these, like, I have 5,000 memorized three sequence types that I would do, and I would get to the exact file I want to get, right? Everybody knows this, right? You do, like, the capital T, the N, then the capital S, and you got, you got that one specific pattern to get to whatever file you need to. Like, I hate having that type of information and doing that. Yeah, it's just like, uh, right? Uh, and then, of course, I uh, also started using CO and CI a bunch. And this also became progressively more terrible to use. You know why? Because I started navigating with the squirrely braces, right? And, oh, my, I was holding J, and I was like, you know, I got to level up my skills here. And so now I'm using uh, contiguous code jumping, but it pollutes the jump list. And then control O is even more terrible. It's just like I was in this. I know it sounds funny. Everyone's like, well, fuzzy file finding is the greatest thing that has ever existed. What are you talking about? I find it, it emotionally hurts me. Okay. 
when I have to do it over and over again. It really does hurt me. So I, I set out. I'm going to fix some things, okay? I'm going to fix some things. So I invented the game called Vim Be Good. So I could literally practice relative m movements. All these other games were invented by other people. I just wanted relative move. I just wanted to practice relative jumps just so I could become good at relative jumps, which would alleviate a part of that little, uh, you know, squirrely brace jumping. And so what happened? It helped. Not much. So then I thought, that's it. I'm going to get even better. So I learned control D and control U. And yes, now that's the only way I vertically navigate is control D, control U and relative jumps. And guess what? Guess what happened? It helped. But not much. I still just, I can't. My alternate files almost exclusively wrecked. On top of it, I have to fuzzy find constantly. Right? So I'm just like, okay. <sighs> I'm not liking this, right? So I had to go back to the drawing board, okay? And by drawing board, I do mean I'm going to actually jump over here into GIMP where I'm going to draw the straightest line that anybody has ever seen in their lifetime. Okay? So I hope you're ready. So this is kind of like how I imagine most people really do projects. As by the way, first line out the gate. No, look at that. That's beautiful. Somebody should make an NFT out of this. All right. So anyways, so now that we have that fun little joke out of the way, this is how I as effectively assume that everyone does things, right? You have all these like files that you're going to, but really what's actually happening here is that you have four main files or maybe three main files, maybe two main files. Yes. Straight lines everywhere. Okay. These are beautiful. And then you have like a whole bunch of these like little other ones over here, right? It doesn't really matter what you're doing. These are LSP jumping things, but Really, when you're focusing on a feature, when you're focusing on something, you have around four, fing uh, four, uh, four files, which also happen to map the four fingers. So I started like, thinking, okay, I want this. I want this. How can I achieve this? Right? Like this. I want that. I, th I think I could do this. I think I could do it. So try number zero. B period, B next. I was like, okay, well, let me see. Maybe I can like kind of, you know, maybe I'll buffer delete a little bit trying to do, it was awful. It was awful. No, no, I was in emotional turmoil using this. Eventually I just we went like this. Next, 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 next. Like, I could not do that. That is, that is somehow the worst form of navigation ever created, uh, except on a server. I think it was fantastic for a server, right? Because, you know, you're on a server. You have to only have like three things open. Fantastic. But, oh, oh, yeah. so next try. Marks. I'm like, oh yeah, this is, ex I mean, look at this. That's exactly it. Mark A, Mark B, Mark C, Mark D. And you're like, yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly it. This is what I've always wanted. And then you switch projects and then uh, your marks are all gone because they're global or local. And it's just like, oh, what, are you, what are you doing? Like, it just, it's all gone. Every part about it, it's gone. And this hurts. You know, because you, you really, you spend some time thinking about how, you know, things should be done. And now it's gone. And, and then, then, you know, and, and they're also where they are. Now, I know this is kind of a weird sentence, right? They are where they are. Meaning that if you don't update them, they're not moving, right? But you moved on. You've moved in, you've moved on in the file, right? You were once here, now you're there, and then you navigate back, and you're from whence you came. Okay, I don't want to go from whence I came, okay? I'm not the ring that needs to go back to the fiery chasm. I want to stay where I am. So I got, I tried. I was terrible at it. I kept doing it. I kept forgetting. It's just like everything else in my life. I could not remember it. Once again, nice on the serve, though. It's really nice. You know, it's a good habit to get into. I should probably make sure I'm doing that. You know what I mean? I should probably make sure I'm doing that. <sighs> but I just couldn't get into it. So, of course, I was lost at this point. I didn't, I, I didn't know what to do. I just, I just felt like, I felt like my life was falling apart. I just, and then I had an idea. What, what if I just write my own plugin? What if, what if, what if I just tried to solve this myself? Okay, so I like, I could do this. I can do this. I can do this. And I did. I'm going to do it. Try number three. Remember, three for two. Everybody knows this because we started zero. So I started with AF++, which is named after Mike Tyson because it's a knockout. It turns out it was, it was, uh, I mean, I thought, why not two alternative files, right? I mean, why not? By the way, this image provided by Asborn, it was fantastic. And uh, it sucked. It was awful. It was awful. It's the exact same reason why... Doing like, you know, like how people on Macs that, you know, you know, Mac users, <laughs> it's like 80% of the people that spoke today. I'm insulting everybody. Anyways, it's like uh, when you press a uh, command tab, right? And you're like tabbing through your programs. 
it's really great when you have two because it's just like command tab command tab command tab and you're just flipping and flopping back and forth but the moment you go to number three your whole order screwed up and if you don't have it in your head you're constantly having to actually read it with your eyes and go through it right it's just the worst it's just the worst and i couldn't do it right uh so i scrapped it i got out of it i said get out get out so then i tried a jump list navigation plugin that would read your jump list and try to give you more intelligent kind of fixed positions that you could just jump back. I don't want to talk about that one. That, I, uh, that, uh, so uh, finally, at some point, I came up with an idea. I said, you know what? I really did like Marx. And I was listening to a song called Harpoon by uh, Pegboard Nerds, and I thought, ah, perfect. I already have the named project for it, okay? I already have named the project. And I really liked the concept of Marx. And then somebody made me really great, you know, picture for it. So at this point, I knew for a fact I had a winner here. Okay, even before I wrote the first line of code, this was a winner. Okay, I could, I could really feel it. I could really, you know, I could really feel this one. And so I was like, all right, we're going to just do Marx. We're doing Marx. But we're going to make it per project. All right. Not only are we going to make it per project, it's going to, it's going to save its column and line uh, position when you quit or change, right? So if you change buffer, I better remember that one spot you were just at. Oh, you quit Vim? Well, I, better, I better remember that position, right? So I was like, okay, okay, this is, we're getting somewhere now. Like, I really feel like this is actually pretty good. And then, of course, uh, uh, we need a UI to swap positions and stuff, right? Because sometimes your marks become a little bit stale. So you kind of want to, like, delete things or move them around maybe that mark is was not important now it's super important so you want it on your most powerful finger or your most used shortcut right so it kind of had to have all these things put into it and i felt like okay this this feels good like i can really feel myself getting getting really excited i mean i can just feel it i can feel it i can feel it and you know when you can feel it nothing is better like it's it just you just know for a fact that things are going to become amazing and so we started programming Start programming as much as possible. A lot of you were there on Twitch when we were doing that. And of course, what happened? We were successful. And it was awesome. And I became more and more excited. I don't think anything in my life has been that awesome. And then I just I just felt like I just felt like there's only one way to express it, which of course is through interpretive dance. And that's it. All right, that's that's how I felt. Ruffin does not dance better. Okay, he does not. So anyway, so I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna definitely do that. But that's it. So that's that's really how I came up with Harpoon. I, I was I'm I'm not technically done yet. Oh okay. I thought you were done. I thought you were saying we were done. I I'm out of breath from dancing. I was I too bad the Twitch <sighs> delay was too long. I was gonna come in and sneaky dance right behind you. That's ridiculous. All right. No, okay, I, I'm no, actually... Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. I got to keep going, okay? okay? So let me just give you like a little quick, you know, little quick demo, okay? So say, uh, here we go. So I can open up my menu. I have nothing harpooned, okay? You don't want to see TJ dance, okay? You don't want to see that. So here we go. So say I like this file. I like this file a lot, right? I'm going to add it. I'm going to quickly just call harpoon. Add it. And as you can see, it's right here, huh? That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So now I can just jump to it. As you can see, it says file navigation one. I'm jumping to it. I'm going to go down a couple pages and I'm going to quit. I'm going to reopen up Vim. And now I forgot I'm actually using Git work trees. I don't remember. What was I on? This is, oh, this is embarrassing. There we go. So I just jumped back to my position, right? So I'm still here. I'm still right there. I still have the exact same things. Now, since I'm using Git work trees, it means that I have a bunch of different paths for different commits. So I can now create a new one, master two, do that, master two. It'll go here. We are now, we are now in master two. There's no harpoons in this one because the path has changed, right? I'm able to have features have their own set of important files. So let's actually go back to this one. Let's go here. Let me just open up 106. 
I'm going to add this one. I'm going to go right here. doesn't really matter where I go, right? So now I have two items. So now I can simply go back to the first one or go back to this. Single finger, just jump to it. And like, that's kind of what I wanted, right? This is this whole notion that there's four primary things I'm usually always working on, or maybe it's two, maybe it's three. But the rest, I can just use my LSP to, you know, jump to, or maybe a fuzzy finder to jump to. But in, like, in general, my, my primary thing I need to go to, I should want that, right? I should want to jump there. So when I actually go somewhere else, let's say I go to 123, I can do that. I can be in here and go, I gotta, I gotta go back to my main file. I can open up this window. I can change it. I can make the positions different. And now when I go to my primary file, it's the previous one. I just moved its position upwards. I can go in here and I can just delete it out. I don't even want it anymore. Now it's not even there anymore. Like that is really great to me. This is exactly what I wanted for navigation. And so this is kind of what I wanted to show you. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm still a little out of breath from that dance. That dance move. Okay. I was really, really into it. Okay. So hopefully that kind of uh, helps everybody understand kind of my thought on what I think is great navigation. I've, I, I've thought about it for some time now. And I've really tried lots of different ways to be able to navigate. And I feel like it just wasn't good enough, right? Someone says that it feels like tabs, but with extra steps. The hard part about that, of course, is that when you do tabs, you have to look at, like, I don't want to have to look at them and remember those things. I don't want to have to adjust my tabs. I don't want to have to move my tabs. Just simply highlighting and moving it some, some line down just seems so much easier, right? I could have three of the same thing. Like, it's just, it, it just feels like a, you know... All right, that file doesn't exist, right? It just feels like it's something that can just really dig right into my head. It also has some other things with terminal jumping and all that, but we don't care about that thing, okay? So there you go. That is it. That is Harpoon. I hope you enjoyed it. What about Harpoon Terminals? We're not even going to talk about that. I'm trying to move to Tmux. I'm trying to figure out how to make Harpoon Terminals into Harpoon Tmux Terminals. 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 Dang it!